everybody! Welcome to the new catalog unboxing. I gotta get my Stampin' Lips on. I gotta get my new catalog Stampin' Lips on. I am, oh my gosh, did I just totally miss? Pretty much. This is not rocket science, Dina. You can do it. Um, I am so excited to be here with you. I'm sorry it took me a minute to get on here. I uh, I, my Facebook was being weird. I couldn't get it to go. So that was just strange. So sorry about that. I've been trying to get on for, oh, like over five minutes. So anyway, welcome. I have a weird hair thing going on. Okay. I think I did something weird to my hair. So uh, welcome, you guys. I'm so excited to see you here. I have my new catalog order to share with you. I want you to know that I paid through the nose to get this here just for you guys. And uh, if you are a demonstrator trying to run your business, don't do what I did. It's, um, while it's fun, it's not very cost effective. So I just want you to know that. I also want you to know full disclaimers here um, and remember that when we're at the creativity cave, we don't judge, right? Um, and maybe even a little what happens at the creativity cave stays at the creativity cave because I do have a whole bunch of stuff to share with you. And it was not exactly um, what I would recommend for um, everyone. And what I mean by that is I did order a lot, but I ordered all of this knowing that A, I will get my investment back because of the way I run my business, and B, that it was worth that cost investment, and C, I don't need to have it all right now. Um, you can run a very effective business without ordering what I just ordered, but I just want you guys to know that. I feel like it's important to share a full disclosure on this. So anyway, um, I did I did get quite a few things. And I also have a couple of tips for you, which I think you're going to find really helpful um, in just a second with the new embossing folders. So um, it is so exciting to get all of these new goodies though I really I I really think you're gonna be excited to see them all so okay um let's see but I do I just I wanted to explain that a little bit because I know not every demonstrator can do what I did by ordering all of this stuff and not every demonstrator needs to order everything that I ordered at all I frankly didn't need to order all of this but I wanted to and I'm at a place where I am able to, so there you go. Yes, Diane, I've got my stampin', my new catalog of stampin' lips are on, so mwah. All right, well, I am going to flip the camera around so we can get right to it, because I'm so excited, and I wanna play with a little bit of this stuff, so there you go. And no, Linda, I am not. <laughs> All right, it takes a village. <laughs> okay, so here we go, I'm going to flip. Haha, uh -huh. are you guys ready? So first of all, um I still have plenty of tabs in my catalog. And this is actually this is actually what I tabbed for my first order but didn't get. So how do you like that? It's not even all the stuff that I want. Uh that the that round of tabs is going to be coming soon. First of all, I will say though, if you are a demonstrator or a customer alike, I highly recommend highlighting your catalog. Um, using a highlighter to highlight what you have is really helpful to keep track of it so that you don't order it again, okay? So for instance, um, I would highlight that I've got the Magnolia Lane DSP and that I've got the Good Morning Magnolia stamp set. And um, now I want to show you something, and I think this is really important to know. Normally in our old catalogs, the bundle for this would be found, you know, like in a little box somewhere around here. In the new catalog, 
that sheet is or that information is found over here. There's also a new feature where you can buy everything in the suite in one price, which is really awesome. And then all of those items are here. Here's that little box with the bundle. So if you just want the bundle at the discounted price, there it is. If you order the whole suite, I don't believe there's a discount on um, the whole thing, but there is the bundle discount is included in that. So it's just all of this stuff added up. So the bundle plus the embossing folder, the DSP, the blah, 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 blah. Okay. So that's just one thing. Now you cannot use that at, um, you cannot use this code for a half price item. So there you go. Just, just telling you how it is. I know cause I tried <laughs> and it did not work. So the other thing I want to point out, since we can open up the catalog now, is at the beginning of the catalog, all of the bundles with their item codes are listed here, along with an additional sample not found like in the catalog where the, where the set is. Okay, so for instance, here's the Magnolia bundle I was just showing you. So you can see the stamp set, you can see all the framelits, you can get the code and everything, and then there is a sample here that is not pictured in the suite. So how awesome is that? So they did they included an extra sample and you can find all of this stuff really quickly. So it's very nice. I will also tell you that as a demonstrator when you qualify or anybody when you place an order that qualifies you for a half price item it's really handy to go through and look at these and see which one is the most expensive so that you can get the best deal <laughs> with your half price um piece or um full disclosure it's this one a wish for everything and by the way this is one of the items that i ordered for my um new catalog kickoff event prize. So this is one of the prizes I'll be giving away is this bundle. So yay. Okay. Um, it really is helpful to have this in the front. I loved this feature in the catalog. So look at this. Look at all these extra samples. So they took up all these pages of the catalog with extra samples and a quick reference for, for us. So I really love that. All right. Now, actually, it's great that I turned to this page because what I want to show you next is this woven threads suite. And what is so cool, and I didn't quite finish this, but I was on the phone with Stampin' Up right before I got on because we have new 3D embossing folders. Now, if you guys didn't know, we have a new um, manufacturer for our framelits and dies and embossing folders and everything. You probably also noticed that we don't carry the Big Shot anymore, and that is because we are no longer using Sizzix, the manufacturer of the Big Shot, as our supplier for all things die cut and embossing related. What that means is the new manufacturer has a little bit different um, product, and so as a result, the products that you're ordering are slightly different in the 3D embossing folders and what we used to call framelits, they're now called dies. And those differences, by the way, are awesome. I'm already impressed with the new manufacturer. I think it's going to be a really, really good change for Stampin' Up! And I think you're going to see the difference in the products as, you, as they um, come out. So with that being said, the 3D embossing folders, or what we used to call the, um, what did we call them? The dynamic embossing folders, the thick ones. They're a little thinner now. And I actually, I, well, hold on. I thought I had a thick one to show you. Yeah. So here's an old thick one and here's a new one. So it's a little thinner. Okay. Not a lot, but a little. So what the difference is in this is we have a new plate coming that we can order soon, but it is isn't here quite yet. It's coming really soon. In the meantime, what you can do is emboss as you normally would. However, you're to make up the extra difference, you're just going to put in shims. To me, a shim is a piece of cardstock or cardboard that you add to your sandwich and your big shot. So I just embossed these. So this suite has two frames and I just embossed them by adding four 
or five pieces of Stampin' Up! cardstock to my sandwich, okay? So the normal sandwich that I would use is my my plate on the correct tab if you've got the tab one or just the plate with two pieces of cutting plastic. And then I added to it, um, or I'm sorry, one piece of cutting plastic for this thick folder. And then I added to it about four or five sheets of cardstock. Um, one of the other folders, this is another one of the, they're calling 3D. It's, it's definitely sturdier. And look at this, you guys. Look at how awesome that is. So on this one, I went through with four sheets at first, and some of the areas weren't as even evenly raised as the others. So then I went back and added one more sheet, and then I thought it was really, um, really helpful. So I just wanted to explain that to you because I wasn't sure what I was going to do. So I called Stampin' Up! and she told me what to do. Now the regular embossing folders, these are just the regular ones. They're just like the ones we used to have. Um, our standard embossing folders, they work just the same. So no change on these. It's only these 3D ones. So I did emboss this one. This goes with the new Royal Peacock suite which we're going to look at in a minute and then actually here's you can see the difference okay so do you see how and, and i mean it's pretty minimal but there's what this area right here isn't embossed as well as like this area it's not as raised so then i added that extra shim and it really made a difference so I hope that's, I hope that explains all of this. Um, can you use tab one? Linda, I'm not sure because I don't have a tabbed uh, platform anymore. So I'm not positive of the answer. I would say the best thing to do would be try it out. If, if you have to force it, that's too much. Don't, don't force it through your big shot and then you'll know. So it's, I think it's a little trial and error. The other thing I will tell you is every single machine, whether it's a big shot or any other kind of die cutting machine is a little different. The tolerances are like millimeters and, or fractions of millimeters. And so those little differences play into for instance, whether you need four sheets or five sheets of cardstock as your shim. So just be aware of that. And I know I personally have about, well, I think I'm down to two or three big shots right now. And I think um, that of all those three big shots, each one is just a little different. So it's just... Um, it's just, it is what it is. Okay. And Barb, we're going we're gonna to get to that. Give me just a second. Look at this, guys. This is the Magnolia one. Oh, love 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 this this is another 3d one so pretty so i did i embossed most of them before i i got on with you i don't think i got all of them but most of them are on here here's another one i didn't emboss this one yet this is a mosaic this is another 3d one so very cool um, okay. Um, Fran, if you do use the rubber mats, make sure they're under a piece of plastic. Otherwise, those rubber mats can get rolled up into the big shot roller and you don't want that to happen. That I speak from personal experience. <laughs> okay. Um, now this one, um, somebody was saying, let's see. I'm looking for Okay, here we go. Here are the heirloom, I literally almost said heirloom, heirloom frames. <laughs> now, the first thing you'll notice with the new Big Shot stuff is the packaging has changed a little bit. I mean, it's very, very similar, but it's just a little bit different. And then these have these dies. Okay, so on here, it says use these dies. You'll need a stamp, stamp, a stamp and cut and emboss machine. Ooh, I wonder if that's a preview. A cutting plate and a standard plate. So um, again, I'm using these just like I would any other dies, but these are going to cut out these frames. So what I probably would do now, give me a little, um, a little grace, but what I would do is probably cut this first with the embossing folder, then I would emboss it with the embossing frame. That way it works together. So um, just be aware of that, but I think this is gonna be amazing. So look at that. The reason you wanna do that is if you cut this after you've embossed it, you're gonna smush the embossing and you want the embossing to stay because it's so pretty. So these two pieces are gonna cut um, those two frames out. So you've got two frames 
that cut and two frames that emboss. And I think stamp and cut and emboss refers to just the whole thing. This you can see is a die. And let me look at the packaging for the others. Hold on. And then this is an embossing folder. So I think that's the difference. Stamp and cut and emboss refers to the whole system of cutting and embossing. This is a specifically a die. This is specifically an embossing folder. So I hope that clears it up. Okay. So yeah, and frames for shaker cards, exactly. I think this will be a lot of fun. It's really pretty stuff. The paper is so pretty. I mean, all of it is so pretty. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. So um, now I have to tell you guys, I almost hate this time of year. And please know, I preface that with a little disclaimer. I love all the new stuff. I love the influx of excitement and new things, but it's a little overwhelming sometimes. There is a ton of new stuff, so it's hard to focus. So one thing I will say to you, especially to those of you watching who are demonstrators, but definitely customers alike, is that when you get all this new stuff, it's really hard to figure out what to do with all of it, meaning it's just overwhelming. So I would say focus in on one suite or one stamp set and then work with that and then kind of go from there because it really is um, tricky to just get all of that uh, stuff. Um, Diane is asking what color of the green cardstock is it? Honestly, I think it's I think it's Call Me Clover, but it was just in my scrap bin. I just grabbed some scraps that I had. I'm pretty sure this is Call Me Clover, though, <laughs> which is last year's in colors that are still current. So, all right, so let's keep going. Oh. Um, now, there is a stamp set that goes with it, but I don't have it handy because it wasn't on my pre-order and the reason, or the wasn't in my current order because it was on the pre-order, and I haven't quite quite got all of my new goodies put away yet so I'm not sure where the stamp set actually is at the moment wait it might be right here oh it is okay so here's the stamp set that goes with it I guess I could show it to you since it's right here in the catalog <laughs> all right so this is um this is the stamp set and this is just going to be filled with textures and um beautiful designs I can't I really am excited lots of fun stuff that goes with this even the sequins and of course that's so you can make shaker cards I don't know if this is a shaker card but I think it is so okay all right next up I'm just gonna start pulling this stuff out Ooh, the detailed peacock oh you guys <laughs> I have to tell you, when I first saw this, I was like, what? <laughs> I really wasn't impressed. And by that, I mean, I'm not a peacock person. Like, peacocks don't excite me. I'm not into peacocks. <laughs> but when I saw all the stuff that goes with the peacock, seriously, you guys, I about lost it. It is so amazing. Okay, so let's just let's just hop on over to the peacock page, which PS I'm not sure what page it's on, but I'm pretty sure I'll find it. I knew it was towards the beginning. There we go. I saw I saw a glimmer of it. Oh, here it is, you guys. Oh. Okay. So this peacock stuff, first of all, it's my colors. I like the the aqua green blue. Perfect. Beautiful. There is foil. There is specialty designer series paper, the stamp set, the framelits. Of course, there's look at this cool peacock feather. Oh, um, there is the embossing folder that I had shown you just a minute ago. Okay. There are, there's ribbon. Okay. Are you guys ready for this? Hold on to your hats because like seriously, it's unbelievable. What did I do with my accessories? Ah, here they are. Okay, prepare yourselves for this ribbon. Okay, if there's any preschoolers listening, close your ears because this ribbon is like orgasmic. You did not hear me say that. But look at it. It's two-sided. 
and it's like sparkly. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. Oh, okay. So I'm going to just tie a little bow for you so you can experience how amazing this ribbon is and appreciate the two sides. Okay, but if you want them all to be one side, I'll show you how to do that too. First of all, I like the green side a little better. So I'm going to fold this over, wrap this around. Then I'm going to make my loop here and put the loop in so that the right side of ribbon is sticking out. And then just pull that taut. And boom. Oh. Seriously, you guys. Oh my gosh, it's so pretty. <laughs> okay. All right. Then... Call Me Clover is not Bermuda Bay. No, um, here, if I if I put a Bermuda Bay piece next to it, you'll see the difference. That's Bermuda Bay. That's Call Me Clover. Okay. Um, all right, now someone said show us the paper. Okay, 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 here we go. Here we go, here we go, here we go. Okay, so here is the paper okay so there's it's all foiled so there's three patterns and that is definitely bermuda bay and this is i think this is probably um blueberry bushel and then this is granny apple green but i haven't looked at the coordinating colors so give me a sec Blueberry bushel, old olive, and pretty peacock. Oh, and I was wrong. But I have a feeling that there's a spectrum of colors that you can use for this. So you'll be able to see um, the difference. By the way, uh, just as a disclaimer, because um, I just got a private message. Anybody can actually expedite their order. If you did not know that, you can pay the extra amount to have your order expedited too. Um, it's an option when you check out in the online store, just so you know. So I, I will not disclose who just asked me that question to protect their identity because what happens in the creativity cave stays in the creativity cave. Okay, so there's this is just such a stunning suite. There's also a set of um, colored, what do you call these, rhinestones. So this is so pretty. Um, yes, you can color your own rhinestones with, um, with the Stampin' Blends, but, you know, I got to tell you, this looks easy and ready to go. So kind of cool. Um, and then, of course, that ribbon that I loved. So it's really beautiful. I will tell you, this is going to be my June Creativity to Go kit. And the registration, actually, I have it ready. Um, I'm going to post it in just a minute, or I guess not just a minute when I'm done here. But my June Creativity to Go kit is this. Now, somebody said they weren't sure if they liked the stamp set. But I will tell you, your gift bag is going to be pretty awesome your goodie bag so even if you ordered it and didn't get the stamp set and made totally different cards with it you would get the good stuff so there you go um okay and yeah expedited does cost extra money i'm telling you it's not it's not cheap but it's pretty awesome so i'm so excited and really looking forward to work with this i really 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 am i think it's just going to be stunning and and i will say i know it's not going to be all peacocks just so you know um so it's going to be really fun to play with this so there's that sweet this actually i kind of think has a place in my heart as being my favorite so far but we haven't opened everything yet and i waited to do it for you guys so all right um I gotta figure out a way to manage all of the stuff I've got. I think the next thing I'm gonna open up, I'm gonna make a pile here. I can't wait till Chris and Whitney come over tonight and help me. They're gonna see all my stuff and giggle. Um, okay, so the other thing I wanna show you next is um, a new project kit that we have. It's called For the Love of Felt, and it's really, cute stuff. So first of all, um, the project kit comes in this box and in the box is another box that's pretty. Okay. 
Um, okay. Do I have the Inspiring Iris stamp set? Yes, we're, we'll get there. Okay, so this is the box. It's a cute little box. And then it's got all the stuff to make all the projects in here, including all these beautiful felt pieces, sequins, twine, and these are more little felt pieces. Oh my gosh, you guys. I, we saw the samples for this at um, on stage, and they are gorgeous cards. So here are the samples. Look at that. So pretty. They are just happy, bright, wonderful cards. Oh my goodness. I just love them. Okay, they're all on the back side. So there's three different, four different, three, four, four. Three different cards, final answer, three. Three different cards and a box, and then you make four of each. Okay, so how awesome is this? Love, love, love. So this, you need to buy the stamp set separately, um, and then you get the box project kit separately. So the nice part is, I think this would make such a great gift for the holidays this year to give to people because the, the, it's already packaged so nice. So you can buy a bunch of these and then you just need one stamp set to complete all the projects. So I think this is going to be so much fun, you guys. And if we'll see if we stamp later, maybe I'll make one of them. Okay, so I'm going to set this off to the side here so it's readily available should there be time. Another project kit that we have is called Looking Up Card Kit. And it's like, it's an all-inclusive kit like we've had in the past. This has all of the, um, all of the stuff comes in the cute little box, which is so awesome. So it is perfect for a brand new stamper or somebody, I, I mean, I like them. Sometimes it's just nice to have all the stuff figured out for you so you don't have to do it. It even has adhesive in here and a clear black. So that's really nice. By the way, look at how clear this black is. It's like a virgin. It's amazing. Okay. But this is a really cool kit. And actually, let's see where are the directions. Haha. -ha. So this has everything you need to make the projects. I think the only thing you need is a pair of scissors. Okay. And then these ones I think are kind of fun. They're a little different. So it comes with ink, Bermuda Bay. It comes with a stamp set, which has really got great sentiments in it. And then you make the cards. So I kind of like these because they're just a little bit different. So we've got, ooh, a masculine card right there with the airplane. My husband would love that. In fact, hello, Father's Day. We've got a cityscape. Oh, maybe your younger millennials might like that. There's a hot air balloon card. And then there's this kind of just, you know, non-specific card. And then there's this beautiful um, kind of tropical card. So that's really awesome. Um, Tanya, I think it's about the same as your paper pumpkin black. But honestly, I haven't seen a paper pumpkin beginning black in years. So I don't know for sure what they look like at the moment. Um, I'm a long time removed from my last paper pumpkin, but what's cool is there's some copper metallic accents in here and the colors are really rich and beautiful. So I think this is, this is me a fantastic kit. And sometimes if you just want to make some cards, but you just don't want to have to be that creative, this is kind of nice. The other thing is look at these, um, envelopes. They're lined, so they're really cool and they're like coordinated. So each one is a little different how awesome is that okay so there's this kit I'm I'm actually really looking forward to making those cards all right next up I'm just gonna start pulling stuff out Ooh. so this is the band together stamp set and I'm telling you when you look at this stamp set you might not think much of it but when you pair it with the detail bands dies, you're going to be really excited. Oh, oh my gosh. Ooh, Amy, that's a really good point. Kits are good for traveling. Okay. So on here, check these out, you guys. They're so cool. 
So these create a bunch of different belly bands that you can put on your cards. Of course, there's also the pieces to cut out this flower and whatnot, but it's got all these different labels and frames and bands that you can coordinate with the sentiments that come in here. And um, let's just look at where this is in the catalog. Now, I didn't notice this at first, but then when I saw it again, you know, after careful reflection of my catalog, which I don't even feel like I've done yet, page 121, um, it is so cool how these look. Okay, so look, you guys, look at these samples. Like, look at that. It's so pretty. I really think this is cool stuff. Look at that. Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, I'm giddy. This is definitely one that I'm really, really excited about. So I can't wait. Can't wait, you guys, to play with this. It's just, it's stunning. So that is going to be lots of fun. All right, next up, I don't know about you, but we used to have some border sets several years ago, maybe four or five years ago, and I really miss them. I'm really looking forward to this boarding, bo budding borders stamp set. I think this is going to be so fun to play with. So I'm, I'm digging that one. <gasps> okay, this, guys, oh my gosh. This set, I think, is going to be the big hit of the catalog. And it might take a little time to get there, but I love this so much. This is a Friend Like You stamp set or bundle. And it is, let me just find it here. Page 124. I think maybe the reason I'm so excited is because it just kind of brings out the Midwest girl in me. But... Um, the, the framelits are so cool. So let me grab the framelits. Okay. The framelits are these really cool silhouettes and it's so awesome the way they go together. You should see, I'm just like chucking stuff. So here's the cattails, little, um, what do you call these, dragonflies. There's a little tropical edge piece here, and then this kind of just botanical background. But, okay, so the sample that's up here, this is what sold me on it, is this sample right here, you guys. Look at that. Oh, my gosh, this is so cool. This is like gonna like a cool background and then you just die cut that in a dark color over the top like how cool is that I'm really excited about this one I think this is gonna be a huge hit so and I also think this is so good for like um masculine cards outdoorsy cards and then look this is the the stamp of cattail so I don't know do you guys like that I'm so into this oh so I'm definitely digging that one I got to I got to arrange my pile over here so I don't have everything come crashing down on me. That does happen quite often with me. <laughs> okay. Next up, speaking of silhouettes, and I think Here we go. Here's this suite. The Sea a Silhouette suite. So look at these cute silhouette images. These are so cool. And then the framelits that go with this are pretty cool, too. They have some words in them. Oh, my gosh. It's a good day garbage day is tomorrow. Or good thing garbage day is tomorrow. I've got so much packaging I need to get rid of. So there's this cool, look at this. That's like a little dandelion. Then we've got forever, um, I think it says inspire and adventure. But these are really wonderful um, sentiments. You know, I'm seeing like anniversary cards, little kids. Um, look at that's a kid holding an airplane. This is like my kids right here. This is my husband. That is definitely my daughter. I don't know. I'm just, I'm so excited about this. Graduation. Oh, now the other thing that coordinates with this, that's pretty off the charts awesome, is the printed paper. 
let's just take a look at that for a second. This paper is so beautiful and vibrant and exciting. Okay, so here we go. Look at this, you guys. It's um, super pretty, super pretty, super vibrant and intense and just beautiful colors. Oh, look at all that, you guys. I'm so excited. And these really bold prints look so great with these silhouettes. So this is going to be so much fun to play with. Okay, now the other thing that coordinates with this is we've got um, some crinkle seam binding ribbon. This is like the, we've had this before, but this stuff is a little skinnier than what we had before. And uh, we definitely never had this color. So this is kind of a cool new take. I'm glad they brought the crinkled seam binding back, but I will laugh because I know somebody who thought it just needed to be ironed. I don't think so. <laughs> she said it needed to be ironed, but I liked the look of that. I like the texture. So really pretty. Oh yeah, it does It does um, remind me of stained glass too. And yes, it does look like the old... Um, it does look like the old brush show, but I think it's actually a little better than the old brush show. Then there's also some library clips, which I've got right here as well, because I just ordered the whole suite, and then you get all the stuff. So handy. One item number. So isn't that cool? It's our cute little clips. Um, and then there's also stamp and emboss powder. I don't, did I get that? I must have. Anyway, so there's that sweet. Very pretty. All right, moving on. Ooh, Inspiring Iris. There's my next stamp set. Somebody had asked for this one. Was that Mimi? I can't remember. So this is a really, a really pretty stamp set. Totally up my alley. I love the two-step. And then it's got these watercolor um, word or watercolor effect images. So yeah. And hi, Julie. I know. I love that seam binding ribbon, too. I miss you, my dear. I hope you're doing well. Okay, let's see what we have next. Ooh, this is a really pretty stamp set, and I had to do, I had to get this one. This one is the stamp set that Steffi, oh, I don't know how to say her last name, Hemschlarschlot, I please forgive me, Steffi. <laughs> she is a the first million dollar um, achiever in the in Europe. So she is in Germany and she does not speak English. I've met her before. <laughs> she does not speak English like at all, but she's really sweet. She's an amazing stamper. But this is her million dollar stamp set, so it's really exciting to see that. And I had to support her million dollar stamp set by getting this, but I really like it. You're in my thoughts and in my heart. I love that. She posted a really cool um, sample with this on her Instagram that was all rainbow colored. That, and when I saw that, I was like, oh my gosh, I got to get it. So she's she created this. And I know you guys are already going to ask me when my million dollar stamp set is coming out. And I would say at least a year away. So don't wait up. <laughs> It'll be a little while. Okay, the next one. Oh my gosh, you guys, this one. Oh, this one has me pretty giddy too. Okay, let's find it. Oh my gosh, I just ripped my catalog. It's okay. The Dino Days Bundle. Now, can I just tell you, my youngest is 13, but... I was so stinking excited about this set or this suite. Um, I can't even tell you. <laughs> this is so awesome. It's just fun. And I don't care. I'm sending cards to not kids with this stamp set. And I hope you like them when you get them. So there. <laughs> um, this is just the cutest suite there's all these dinosaur cutouts, and then there's all these texture pieces that you can add with them, and an egg. Like, how cool is that? So you can also make a palm tree with the with the trunk and the frond and whatnot. I just think this is so dang cute. Oh my gosh, Casey, is your son there? He is going to love this. He, oh, 
I just think this is so darn cute. And then look at this. I love you this much, it, but it's more than it looks. It's so cute. I love it, you guys. I, I don't know. I don't know why I'm such a spaz about this, but I kind of am. All right, so this has some printed paper that coordinates with it. So let's take a look at that quick. Um, it's got a really fun, bright color scheme, which is awesome. And all of these cute little dinosaurs, they're just so stinking cute. But what's cool about this is on the back side of these pages, well, maybe not this one, but um, the, a lot of the prints in here are just kind of cool patterns. They're not necessarily dinosaurs. There's only a couple that are. Like this is eggs and dinosaurs, but um, a lot of these prints are just kind of cool patterns. So I think this is gonna be a lot of fun to work with this stamp set and um, the suite of stuff that goes with it. There's also, oh, kids are really into the Hatchables. Yeah, that would be cool. Um, there's also little um, enamel shapes. So there's some leaves and some little triangle thingies. So this will be cute to go with that. If you are, I think this would be just the sweetest for a baby, um, for a baby boy announcements. Well, even baby girl announcements. You know, look at that card. It's just so stinking cute. So I think this is going to be a ton of fun to play with this stuff. I'm really looking forward to it. All right, next up, what do I have? Ooh, I caved, you guys. I totally caved. I was not going to get this right away. And then I had, I needed a half price item on my, on one of my orders. I qualified for a half price item, so I went for this. Um, this is the Ride With Me bundle, <laughs> the truck set. <laughs> so... I'm not a huge 3D person. You probably noticed that because I, I don't make them very often. But this makes a cute little flipping truck that is going to be so stinking cute. I can't even stand it. And then you can fill the truck with the different stuff. Oh my gosh. It's going to be really, really cute. This is kind of a more specific type of stamp set. But it's really... Look at that. Look at that. That's so cute. Oh my gosh. And you can put I heart stampin' on the back. Oh my gosh. And did you see there was like a little um there was a a video, a stop motion video that Stampin' Up posted yesterday. I posted it in my new catalog kickoff page, but it's super cute, so it goes with this. So anyway, um that's on page 55. So we'll see what else is on there. This was kind of this was like an impulse checkout purchase. <laughs> I think. But look at how cute these are. You can make such cute little kid things. These will be such sweet party favors and stuff. Oh my gosh. If you're one of those Pinterest moms and you have time to make all that kind of stuff for your little three-year-old, this will be fabulous for you. If you're like the rest of us, you'll just do the flat ones because you don't have time to make all of that. Can you fold up the truck somehow to mail it? I don't think so, but um, you never know. I'm not sure. I, I have no idea because this is literally my first look at it, but it's possible. Anything's possible. I'm sure there's a creative person out there that will figure this out, but I'm kind of thinking, no, it wouldn't just kind of collapse and fold flat, but I don't know. You never know. There are some really talented, creative people out there who might be able to figure it out. All right, next up, what do we have? Ooh, Okay. Ooh, is this it? I don't know. No. Let's see. Hold on. Ah. Well, actually, I think. Okay. Petal label. Okay, that goes with that. Lovely leaves. I don't think that goes with this. Okay. So this next one is, this is the one I pointed out um, as the most expensive bundle that we have. So it's good for your half price item. And that is a wish for everything bundle. This is a set that I think is going to be so awesome. It has a big set of framelits that come with it. And they die cut a bunch of words and there's a, they're really in a beautiful font. So um, it's so pretty. I think you're going to like it. There we go. Ooh, look at that. 
I don't think this is the right one. So hold on. A wish for everything stamp set and word wishes. What did I just open? Hand lettered. Wrong one. Hold on. Here we go. Word wishes. Thought I checked that. It's like, this doesn't seem right. <laughs> okay, but this one is in a pretty font <laughs> and there's a whole bunch of words. Okay, so we've got, this is like for holidays. So there's St. Patrick's, Valentine's, New Year's, Happy, a Christmas, Thanksgiving, Halloween, Merry, Father's Day, Easter, and Mother's. So like pretty much every every occasion you could think of is covered in here. And then there are all these coordinating words that go with it. So there's the happy, the ant, the ampersand, little sign thing, the whatever, the wishes. And then there's all these cute little words that go with it. So this is really awesome. That's on page 17. So there's a beautiful sample right there. And then here it is again in the catalog. So I think this is going to be a great, a great set. This would be probably like a good Christmas gift if you needed a you needed to give yourself a Christmas gift, you know, in June, whatever. <laughs> we never judge at the creativity cave, so it's all good. Okay, the next one, ooh, this is really cool. Um, this one, I wasn't sure, like it didn't look that remarkable when I saw it in the catalog, but then when you see all this stuff that goes with it, it is amazing. Kind of like that peacock. Like I wasn't super excited about the peacock, but then when I saw the whole thing together, I was like, oh yeah. All right, so this is the Pressed Petals Suite. So it's got a stamp set and um, it's got a set of framelits that are kind of like frames, I guess. And then it's got really cool stuff that go with it. So we've got the big frame, a smaller frame, and then a oval that coordinates frame. I guess it's not really a frame, but you get what I mean. Um, so all of these pieces work together um, to create these different frames. And then it also coordinates, like here is the stitched oval from the Stitch Shapes framelits. Now here's where things get a little bit exciting, okay? So we've got all these beautiful frames and then we've got our stamp set, just throwing them in there. But then there's all this stunning stuff that goes with it. All right, so first of all, there is a little journal and I was a little surprised when I saw this journal. I guess I expected it to be a little bigger, but it's really beautiful. Uh, so let's look at this. This would make a just a stunning gift. Look at how beautiful that is. It's embossed. And then the pages inside are so pretty. <coughs> Look at this. Today I am grateful. It's like the inside is beautiful. It's not, it's not just, you know, it's like fancy paper. It's not like just boring paper. So it's really gorgeous. And then the pages you can rip out. So like if you wanted to use this on a project, you could. So that's cool. All right. The other thing is, um, now this is where things get really exciting, you guys. Like this is another somewhat shh, orgasmic thing. I'm whispering in case there's preschool toys listening. But they don't know what that is anyway, so it's okay. All right. Um, <laughs> so... This washi tape is super cool. Are you guys prepared for this? Like, are you ready? Because here we go. I'm going to pull one of these off and then you're going to be like, what? The washi tape are petals to a flower. Like, what? Oh my gosh, you guys. Like, seriously. Um... This is so cool. So you can build a flower on here. And then these are the little flower centers. That actually coordinates with another suite. But there's little flower centers that you can get to stick in the center of these. But this is just pull-off, die-cut, sticky-backed flowers. Oh, my gosh. I'm very excited about this. 
There's also this beautiful washi tape that's kind of like collage that coordinates. So that is, it's, oh, oh, okay. Now that's not it. There's more. Um, there's a couple more things. So we've also got these designer elements and these are really cool. You know what they remind me of? Um, they look like little jean grommet things. They're really pretty. They're metallic, so they're very pretty. There's copper, silver, and gold. There's also this really pretty ribbon. This is called uh, Rococo Rose Gathered Ribbon, and it's, it's kind of kind of reminds me of the Roost Ribbon, but it's a little different. But look at that. It's kind of metallic-y and shiny and pretty, and it's got Rococo Rose on it. And my this is the bow test. Does it tie well? And the answer to that is... It is pretty good. It's not it's not super thin, but it, it ties very nice bows, so I like that. Um, but all this stuff is just gorgeous. There's one more I need to show you, though, and this is kind of the awesome one. This is the printed paper that is made from actual photographed, like, flowers. So you can see these are pressed flowers, and look at the textures and the patterns and the prettiness in this. Oh, there's some wood textures. Oh my goodness. So beautiful. This paper is really pretty. So it's a bigger pack of cardstock. I think there's 24 sheets, but it's got, it's that thinner, it's, it's more like typing paper thickness, maybe a little thicker than typing paper, but it's thinner. So it's really, this is going to be amazing, you guys. Oh my goodness. Ooh, these would be cute with a pocket die. That is a really good idea. Wow, I like that. I like that a lot, Elizabeth. Good for you. Okay, so all of this goodness is in this suite. So I think it's going to be a lot of fun to play with that one. All right, next up, what do we have? Um... I've got a couple of host sets, the new wonders. These are sweet little like fairies. And then time for tags, which coordinates with our new tag die. I can't think of the name of the tag die, but here it is. So that there's a stamp set this coordinates with. So that's pretty cool. Um, and this is actually, it's really cute. I like these images. They're going to be fun to play with. Um, next we have, oh, this is a good one. This is just a single stamp set. Here's a card and it's got really kind of fun sayings on this. And I can see using this a lot. I made you a card because you're worth it. I would so put that on the back of a card, but it's just got a lot of different sentiments in here that are really nice. There's a sympathy sentiment in here. Um, a lot of really nice stuff. And I like this is kind of an innie and an outie. Um, I like this. Like here, this is really cute. You put this on the outside. I, You made my day. And then on the inside, you put, I can't begin to count all the times we've laughed together. So I think that's going to be a great set. Um, oh, here's another embossing folder I missed. Ooh, the eyelet lace embossing folder. That's going to be fun. Okay. We're almost getting to the end, you guys, but don't worry. There's good stuff left. Oh, 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 oh. This one. This was another, this one is another one that I wasn't, like, I didn't quite get it. <laughs> but then I looked a little closer, and then I was like, oh. page 115. Okay, this one... This is called Lovely is the Day, and then this has the Lovely Leaves Framelits, or Dives. i got to stop saying Framelits, because they're not called that anymore. When I was with Sarah, she said Framelits, and she goes, ooh, swear jar. <laughs> I thought that was really funny. Sarah is the CEO of our company. All right, so these are really cool. Now on, uh, let's see. On this, this does like a really funky thing where it doesn't cut the whole thing out, 
but it instead creates like a 3D effect. So you can lift the leaves, but that center spine is still kind of stuck in the card base. So it's really cool. Um, I think this is going to be a lot of fun. And look at this die. This is going to do this a similar thing where you cut this out, but then um, just like it's still stuck to the background of the paper. You can just pop up all these little parts of it. So it's really pretty. And look at this beautiful flower. I think that's so gorgeous. This is going to be a lot of fun to play with. I'm, I'm really looking forward to this one. And then there's, it's a two-step set. So like this fits all the greenery in here. And then this fits in here and this in here and this in here so oh my gosh and then it's got really nice sentiments go where dreams take you fill this world with beauty lovely is the day that touch that is touched with kindness so nice but I think this is going to be a really neat set and here again is one of those ones where it's a butterfly and it will just do the wings, but then you can cut the whole thing out too if you want. So I'm looking forward to playing with that one. All right. Next up, what do we have? Ooh, 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 ooh. Ooh, where is the stamp set that goes with this? Because that's a good one. Ah, here we go. This one, um, this one I didn't see at first. And then I was like, what? This is really awesome. This is the... Gosh, I love this feature. Ooh, Tasteful Textures, 135. Oh, look, I'm on it. All right. So I was looking at the sample, and I was like, how do they do that? And it's the cool framelits. So first of all, there's really neat textures along with some sentiments. That's kind of new for us. Usually we have textures, we have sentiments, but not together. So that would be so cool. The eyelet lace embossing folder that I showed you just embosses, but there is also kind of a similar lacy um, die as well that's separate. Okay, so then this is a set of, I think, three. Yeah, three dies. There's this kind of fleur de lis sort of a thing. There's this cool little background pattern, and then there's this really pretty whatever flowery thing. But look at the textures in here. Oh my gosh, you guys. This is just going to be so pretty. I cannot wait to play with this one. This is going to be good stuff. So a lot of fun. Ooh, I got to take, I got this one. I had to remove my marker. All right. Next up. Oh, um, We've got the Seaside Notions. I got this because it's summertime, and I think this is a good time to use this. I'm I'm digging this set, though. I think it's going to be fun, and I love the font that's on here. So this is a cute one. Then I've also got, okay, here we go. Praiseworthy Pros. And what course? Something coordinates with this, I think. Pretty sure, but what is it? Let's take a look. Praiseworthy. Oh, <laughs> this is the new alphabet. So this alphabet coordinates with this. And look at this, you guys. You can die cut words out of your card and then have a background show. Or you can use the letters themselves. So this is like the negative and then this is the positive. Now this is really cool. So I mentioned, you know, before the new catalog came out, I said... I really encouraged people to get that big set of framelits, and I still stand by that, of course, because these are totally different letters. Um, they're much smaller. You can see they just, you know, each letter, and they're they're like a fancy font. So, like here is, oh, here's the K. So it's it's a lot smaller than the those other alphabets are like that. They're about three inches tall. So I think this is really pretty. It's going to be so much fun to play with this, but a very different look. You know, this is kind of scripty and, and whatnot, whereas those other layers were really different. But what's kind of fun is the stamp set that coordinates, coordinates with this has some cool little like definitions to go with it. So I can see this being funny or not funny, fun to play with. So I really liked this where it says sister and then family is stamped on top. So that's that's going to be fun. And I think the whole eclipse concept is really going to come back in a whole new light. So I think this will be a lot of fun. 
Uh, Sandy, you love the new tape on the dies a lot less swearing. Yes, they do pop off much easier and then they don't leave any kind of residue on the back that I found or at least a lot less. So they, they are very nice. So this is a good one. That's another, um, a little bit spendier. It's 53. So it's not so bad. Whereas those other le letters were like a hundred bucks. That was a lot. Okay. Now, the next set I have to show you is called Genuine Gems. It's just a word set, but I really like this. I love this. I told the universe to send some awesome your way, and you know what? I know exactly who I'm making a card for with right away with this one. Um, but I just love there's some really fun different say, sets and here or sayings in the set, and here's one of my favorites. I just didn't know what to say. I think this is so good. Um, to to send in a card because you know what sometimes there just isn't you just don't know what to say and and so just stamp that but there's there's really some great and I think this is kind of an innie and an outie as well where you can put you know some of these on one in, and then on the inside of the other so um, someone just asked a question so are the numbers still printed on the dies is that what they just said yes um, they are on some of them. <laughs> I I swear they are. Um, let me look. Yes. So like here it is. It looks like I don't I'm not seeing it on these letters, but I think the letter the letter dies are pretty obvious, you know, where they go. But yes, I the item number is on here. It's a little teeny. You might need your magnifying glass, but it's there. Okay. All right, next up um, is a background stamp. Um, this is the birch background stamp. And I, in my new house, there is actually a birch tree in my front yard. And um, while I was weeding over the weekend, I noticed the birch coming off of it. The You know how it peels, if you've ever seen a birch tree. So I think this background stamp is going to be pretty awesome. I'm really looking forward to playing with it. Uh, I saw a sample that was posted on the demonstrator Facebook page right before I, well, earlier this afternoon, and it was so pretty. It was paired with the Daisy Lane stamp set, which I think is going to be super cool. So I, you'll be seeing this one come out sooner than later. Now, the, these next two things I'm going to show you are actually not in the catalog. They are in a new beginning brochure. And I was really dumb because I didn't or add them to my order. But the brochure is just kind of like a beginning brochure for new customers um, and new stampers. And it's just a way to give them a little bit more information without overwhelming them with an entire catalog, amongst other things. Anyway, in that brochure, there are, th I think, three unique stamp sets not found in the annual catalog. And these stamp sets are geared towards beginners and then kind of tying in some of the things from the annual catalog to this newer catalog. So this first one is Celebrate with Cake. It's really simple and easy. And actually, I have a couple samples uh, that I can show you. So my, um, I do a swap with my team, and this was um, one of the swaps we did. So look at that. These are cute little cards made with the stamp set. So my um, one of my team members got this set in as a prize patrol at OnStage, so that's how she had this one. But this is a set that's available for purchase. I, I haven't looked to see where it is on the website, so I'm not sure. Now the other one is this one, and I'm actually super excited about this. Now the funny thing is when they explained this to us at OnStage, I totally didn't get it. And I don't know what I was thinking, but I think part of it was that it was, um, it, I was, well, I might not have been paying as close of attention as I should have, I guess is the best way to put it. But I was a little razzled by the whole thing because that was when they had recognized me for my million dollars and I was with my team and it just was a crazy day. So anyway, but this Magnolia Blooms, of course, coordinates with the Magnolia Lane stamps or suite of products. But when they explained it, I thought they took 
a few of the images out of the Magnolia stamp set and put them in a smaller stamp set. And I thought that was a really weird idea. Like, why would you do that? But it turns out that's not what they did. They picked some images that coordinate with the other stamp set into this smaller stamp set. And I think this one is like 17 or or $21 or something. It's probably 17 cuz oh yeah, it's I'm sure cuz it's a smaller set. But it's really cool. Now this is also photopolymer whereas the Magnolia Suite is red rubber. But um I think the reasoning behind that is that it is smaller for or it's see-through for, for beginning stampers to be able to have a more, I don't know, <coughs> an easier time using it. I don't know, whatever. So anyway, um, this is Experience Creativity Projects. Thank you, Deb. Yeah, so really cool. Uh, so I'm looking forward to that. And I do really think the Celebrate with Cake set is going to be super fun to play with too. So that's really cute as well. All right, I'm getting down there, guys. Next up, I've got new blends. So we've got, um, uh oh, I'm missing one of my, blend oh, I'm missing a couple blends. But they, <laughs> this was in a box with a bunch of my product share stuff. Oh, I'm missing three. But we've got, this is the Purple Posy. The Seaside Spray, the Rococo Rose, there is uh, the Pretty Peacock, then we also have Grey Granite and So Saffron. Now they did not make a terracotta tile and the reason being is that the colors are very similar to the Calypso Coral so they it wasn't worth making another set of um, blends for that. So uh, that's how that worked out. But I'm really excited about those new colors. There's also some denim ribbon. So this is kind of cool. We had, I think, I don't know if it was exactly this, but we had denim ribbon uh, several years ago. But I'm excited to have it back. I almost wonder if this is a little bigger than the old stuff we had. But there it is. So that'll be fun to play with. Um, oh, there's in color buttons that coordinate with the outgoing in colors. So those will be fun to play with. I think we had buttons in this shape um, like for celebration many years ago. So that'll be cool. And then, oh yeah, Hoot Hoot Hooray is another stamp set. I did not get that. See, I can be discreet about certain things or show discretion maybe <laughs> about not ordering everything. All right, this one I was pretty pumped about. This is the Medium Daisy Punch. And someone asked me which punch this was, but I didn't know I didn't know the size difference. So here's the Daisy Punch and then here's the Medium Daisy Punch. I wonder if that means there's going to be a small one coming at some point. But this is substantially smaller, so let me cut this out for you so you can see the difference. So we've got the big daisy and the little daisy. Now the new Daisy Lane stamp set is going to coordinate with these. And of course, you'll be able to mix and match as far as layering. You know, the, they they are symmetric so that they layer and whatnot is what I'm very horribly trying to say. <laughs> but they're two different, um, two different sizes, so that's exciting. There's also some, a new tag kit, tags and more accessory kit. We had kits like this several years ago. Um, it's been a while. But basically, there are a bunch of tags and things to make tags with. So there's some fun clips. There's some washi tape. There, that's copper, which is cool. There's some baker's twine, and then there's all these die cut, ready to go, super cute tags. And they are in a variety of colors. Some of them are in colors, but not everything. So aren't these pretty? I think these are gonna be super fun. So there's just a whole bunch of tags that come in here. They're a little bigger, which I like. I think they're gonna look great on cards. So this will be fun. If you are ordering my product share, I want it all. This is one of the choices that you've got for your freebies. And then, oh, 
Okay. I saved kind of some of the best for last. So I've got new copper treat bags. These look pretty and fun. The new in color markers look awesome. And then we've got Fluid 100 watercolor paper. So this is just some beautiful watercolor paper. I think my guess is the quality is gonna be better than what we had, so that's good news. And I think there's nothing better to try out on that new watercolor paper than our stunning new pigment sprinkles. This would be Stampin' Up! colors of new pigments like the brusho only better now here's all the reasons why i love this stuff more and i am opening it up for the first time first of all the colors are much prettier second of all they are real true stampin up colors which is awesome and then third of all they have the built-in sprinkle cap somebody was thinking so you don't just have to poke a hole in them and use them and then fourth of all, they're less expensive. Can I get an amen? Okay, so who's ready to play with these? Should we, shall we? Do you think we should? All right, so I'm gonna clear off a little space and then we're gonna make some awesome sprinkle background stuff. Okay, so. By the way, there's one other thing I didn't show you, a cut, two other things I didn't show you that I wanna show first before I pull that out. So let me just quick, bear with me. Um, there is new shimmer detailed uh, laser cut specialty paper. Okay. And, oh gosh, this is beautiful. And look at this, you guys. It's, can you see that? It's shimmery, it's like, it's, kind of like pearlescent -y. It's really beautiful. So the back side is plain white and it's not shimmery. The front side is kind of a, a, a vanilla shimmer to it. So like there's white paper and then this is kind of vanilla-y. So it's really, really, really pretty. Oh, this looks gorgeous. And then there's also um, just plain colored foil that coordinates with that Royal Peacock. So here it is. These are just plain foil sheets. Okay, so that's blueberry bushel, pretty peacock, and old olive. But I think you could get away with using this with granny apple green and using, and probably pear pizzazz even. And then this would work with, um, oh, pretty much. This is Bermuda Bay right here. It's a little different, but it'll work. It's really pretty stuff. So let me stick that back in here. So I don't mess it up. Woo! Sorry, I just hit my camera. Okay. So somebody asked if I got the new watercolor paper. Yes, that's what I just opened. It's this new, it's called Fluid 100 watercolor paper. So that's what this is. And I need to... Um, get some scrap paper down because I know these new what are these called <laughs> pretty pigments is that what they were called I think so um, I know these are going to be messy regardless okay pigment sprinkles sorry so we've got Bermuda Bay we've got gorgeous grape we've got mango melody granny apple green Melon Mambo, and Daffodil Delight. So these are really pretty, pretty colors. So they picked much prettier colors than they had before. And I think there will be much rejoicing for that. <laughs> um, let me just grab my spritzer. Oh, I'm having some problems here. Sorry, my spritzer was like wedged in. I think I have it. Okay. Um, so 
So here we go. Oh, I already sprinkled a little. There we go. And ooh, hoo, hoo, hoo. oh my gosh, you guys, look at this. So pretty. Ooh, that came out a little aggressively. <laughs> Yep, this is going to be fun. Oh, look, this is like Mardi Gras right there. So, all right, guys, I just got a text message that I'm supposed to be on a call, training call for my team. So I got to go. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be on quite this long. <laughs> I'm so sorry. But there you go. Now, I one quick thing that I will tell you is that I have a huge event that is starting up um, right now. We're just getting everybody on, but we have a fabulous new catalog kickoff event. The registration information is in the description of this video. And there are so many awesome things that we're going to do in that new catalog kickoff. So I hope you can join us. The cost is $10, but it is refundable if you take, if you order um, through me and the host code is already up. So you can check that out on the page. To register, make sure you click on your confirmation email link, which will give you the Facebook group that is for the kickoff and it is going to be so much fun do not miss it um i think you will love it i will see you soon but check all that information out in here and um join our party it's going to be a good time the first event is a facebook live pajama party i can't wait because look at all the stuff that i have to play with yay so we'll see you guys soon bye bye